Hey guys, this is Andrew Keen from KeenOnTheMarket.com. I'm going to show you how to set up historical versus implied volatility using Think or, Think or Swim, otherwise known as TOS. Very simple, very easy, guys. Okay, so what I do is I just go in here, and on the way left to the left of the wrench, I click this button. Okay, it looks kind of like an eraser with a couple arrows. I click that button. What I'll do to go down here on the studies, I'll go down to historical volatility. I double click. Implied volatility, I double click. Okay, so I have historical and implied volatility. If, okay, if I go apply OK, as you see here, it's labeled as two different studies. Well, that's kind of hard to read, right? I want to compare them to each other. So how do I compare them to each other? Okay, so what I can do is I can go back in here, okay, and I hit this little arrow and it puts them together. Boom. Okay, so now these are in the same study. Okay, apply and look at that, guys. How cool is that? Implied and historical volatility is in the same study. I always like to mess with my colors. I like to mess with a lot of my um, my widths, so I can double click anything in here. Okay, or maybe I have to go back in here. Let me go back into the left here. Implied volatility. I double click that, and I'm going to make that one implied volatility I'm gonna make it yellow okay okay and historical I'm gonna make it red okay just like using Ichimoku I always want historical to be higher than implied and this gives me 20 days which is also one month so how cool is this guys so now you've set yourself up with historical versus implied volatility you notice that if I move to the 15 minute chart okay what happened? There's no implied volatility. Why is there no implied volatility? Because there's no intraday options, okay? So here we have, make sure you're in the daily chart, and this is historical versus implied volatility using thinkorswim. Very simple, very easy. Set up through here. You know, you can go back in here, mess with the colors. You can make the width smaller. Make sure you always hit a OK, and then apply OK. This is Andrew Keen from KeenOnTheMarket.com, and this is setting up historical versus implied volatility using TOS or Thinkorswim. Thanks, guys.